Yeah. Hi, how are you doing? Um, we're doing Block of the Week today. Um, it's a, a bit of a scary thing for me, uh, really, because um, I've drafted this out myself. And um, the pattern is half written. So after yesterday's um, little debacle where I um, cocked it up, um, I, I don't know whether you saw the um, the uh, link uh, to the to the I cord where I was turning it round and then not knowing what to do with this. You don't turn it; you just slip the stitches off and do it again. Um, so watch the video. It's it's a really cool process. Um, and I was doing it completely wrong. It's when you do something and you think, yeah, I got it. That's easy. It's three stitches. What could go wrong? <laughs> That's what could go wrong. Right. A couple of things. There's only two left on the raffle. So if you want that pulled tomorrow, ready for the weekend, then somebody has to go and buy the other two. Um, and these blocks behind that, um, Sarah's been doing, these are part of the mode of block of the day thing so each day one of these comes out um there's a couple of people that have asked to join the group to do it it is a paid group um so if you go onto the website and look for the mode of block of the day thing it's five pound to join the group so you you know you um it was 95 pound for the kit um, we sold out of all the blue ones and I think there might be one pink one left um, but people are doing it in their own fabrics I'm doing it in my own fabrics because I like batiks um, rather than grunge so um, and there was another lady Jean Baker I think you're doing it as well um, from your own fabrics yeah I'm sure it was Jean um, and it, they're looking beautiful uh, the, both the blue and the pink. I mean, the pink is lush, isn't it? So, if you want to join this, it's a fiver. Okay, you need your own fabrics. Do it out of scraps, and it won't matter how much of anything you've got. Okay, um, but in order to be able to join the Facebook group where Sarah does tutorials and everybody talks about what they've done and how they found it, it's a fiver. Okay. Um, so that's that one. We've done the raffle. Who's there? Who am I saying hello uh, to? Wendy. Carolyn says, how are you top match? It's the mood of block of the day. Oh, I know. I'm hoping Meg's going to do me a hairband as well to match all my pink. Uh, Eileen says, hi. Linda says, hi. Carol. Uh, Sheila. Those people. Sonia. Hi. Jean. Hi. Oh, Sonia, I need to ring you. Right. The block of the day, you wanted Halloween this week, and um, that's my block. I'm really quite proud of him. Look at that, that's quite cool. He'll make a good cushion, or you could make him in lots of different colours, um, and uh, have him up. I think if you want to make it 12 and a half, you're going to have to put a um, an edge. Do I need to come back like that? No, that's okay. Um, it, you need to have a, a, a bit of an edge around him. Um, to make him bigger uh, I might make him into a cushion so we're gonna make another one to go with it haha <laughs> right uh, like I say I drafted him out there he is you can see there's his there's his pointy ears and his tail so I drafted him out from a picture I found on Pinterest um, so uh, putting him together was was a learning curve it was cool so, right. Sonia says she's been working till 6, really. Um, I'll email you then. Or text you or something. Um, right. In this, we need four half square triangles. Okay. So, we've got one here, one here, one here, and one down here. All right. Now, you've all seen half square triangles so far. So I, what I've done is I've made three and I've kept one to show you. All right. So you're going to cut out. We want them to end up at two and a half. So you're going to cut them out at three and then you trim. Okay. You could cut it at four if you want and trim down to that. 
um, but we've cut these at, at three. All right, so I've put one black, one white, and you can see I've, I've drawn a line. And I'm going to sew a quarter of an inch from that line. So I'm going to put my guide. Yep, there's a thingy on there. What colour are we working with? Okay, so I'm going to put the guide of the, the quarter inch foot on the line. All right. And I'm just going to sew down the side of it a quarter of an inch, all the way down, and then I don't think I've got a pat the patience for this machine. Um, there we go. So one of them, when I'm doing these half square triangles, I'm doing big ones, ready for her chanza. Um, and I've done a whole layer cake thing with it and um, I have a habit of going off I mean I can see from the line there I'm out that's why I cut mine bigger um, to begin with and somebody suggested that you draw your line and then you measure a quarter of an inch and draw another line and then follow the, the second line that you've drawn on either side um, I haven't done it with these because you expect just a little one. You can sort it. Now you could cut that with um, your rotary cutter if you like. I haven't, as you see. And then we're going to iron those out like that. Iron to the dark side if you can. Okay. I'm using the white paisley that I'm using in my block of the day. I love it. Um, let's move those out of the way because I don't know what I'm doing here. Right. Okay, I need to borrow that there. And we're going to trim these down to two and a half. So I generally start with my angle going from bottom left to top right. Um because I can then put my 45 degree angle onto the line like that. And I'm gonna trim, oh, I'm gonna trim like this. And turn it round by a 90 degree angle and then line it up with your two and a half. Okay, and then trim off the rest. Like that and there we have a beautiful square so let's do this one and then I'll show you how to build the next blocky thing there's no that they're mostly straight blocks but there's a couple that we've you know this goes along the um the theme that we've been doing where you take a perfectly good square and then doctor it Okay, so anybody having a, a bit of a uh, chat? Jean's just asked, the, uh, will you have more of the white paisley in stock? Um, we will do. We'll get this one again. I can't remember. I know we ordered a load um, recently, but I don't know whether we got this one again. I mean, we both talked about it. So the next time, if we haven't ordered this one, the next time that the gentleman that's in we will do that right so that goes on there and there okay I did put them into rows right the other one that we need to doctor um, there's two more this this block here needs to be somewhere There it is. Okay, so all you're doing is you're sewing a little white square onto a long, longer black rectangle. Okay, so that that's easy. All of you can manage that. Right, this block here, we're just going to put a small triangle. Now Sarah showed you these. I know she did because I was watching. Um, so we're going to do 
that. See how the triangle goes. So you want to mark your white square corner to corner, just like you do with the half square triangles, only this time we're going to sew on the line. Okay, so we take over to the machine. And we're going to follow the line just to attach it to that square. And then we're going to cut the excess off, um, which then gives us a square. When we iron it out, we have a square. Okay. There you go. All right. So... You see, we've changed changed it like that. So now all we need to do is layer it and we're going to sew it in rows. All right. So. There is a, a list. I've got a list of what you have to cut. Just give me um, the weekend. I will. Um, I will write it all out for you so we're going to follow the little map all right so on this side you want a half square triangle and we're going to put it like that am i building it this way up am i so you can see how to do it i can never find oh okay right so we're going to put that like that okay and then this one, we have a black there. <laughs> so, what's everybody been up to? Tell me things, Drew. Marilyn says hi. Hiya, Marilyn. How are you doing? Uh, Sandra's been wrapping Christmas presents and making Christmas cards. Oh... You don't need to wrap mine, just put mine in a nice little uh, drawstring bag. Okay. Right. Now, you can see they're different lengths, but that's because you're going to take up a quarter inch, quarter inch, quarter inch, quarter inch, quarter inch, quarter inch, whereas you're only taking up one there. Um, there's been a couple of times where I've thought, mm, that's not right. That's not right. That one's that one. Let me work out where all these go. Right, this one must be that one. So you want a white square there. You've just got to build them. Um, it goes that way. So you want the black down. So I look at it that way around. There we go. Um, Okay, um, then we want the long black one. See, I should have, I should probably have put more of these together. Um, okay, where are we? That's up there. So you want the long white one. We got a long white one? I'm missing a white one. Oh no, it's a big white one. Big white one there. And then that one then that one and then that one goes down like that so you can see the rough bat thing it's really easy and I've I have to say I've quite enjoyed the process so we're just going to sew these together this is the boring bit so um, anybody else got anything to say Sandra said they're going to. Yeah, I think they're going to Thailand. I think she said. Oh, when are you going? I think they're the presents. Are you allowed the, to go? The presents are. Oh, I the presents are. She said they they they're, they're going to say to Thailand rather, whoops, rather than fly. It's half the cost. Then I'll have more money to spend on my favourite shop. Oh, where are you going, Liddles? So. Other um, supermarkets are available. Not as much fun as White Gecko, though. 
So I'm chain piecing these um, for quickness. This morning when I did it, I um, I did them a bit at a time because um, I was worried I was going to do it wrong. And I did. I had to unpick it. Oh. So, um, where are we? It's Wednesday, isn't it? So if somebody buys the last... Um, the last ones from the raffle, I'll have to run round and pick it tomorrow. Um, and then what we thought we would do, we're going to do a challenge post. All right. So the theme is Halloween. But you can be creative. If you've never done anything Halloween-y or monstery, you can be creative. Did you use the new monster fabric that we had in um, and make a mask? Have you done a pumpkin? Um, I gave you a brilliant pumpkin yesterday. I would imagine that all of you went and did your stalkless pumpkins last night. Um, have you made something that was supposed to look one way and you did it wrong and it ended up like that? So you can um, do it, is it orange and black? Oh, up, please. Okay, we've got to remember where all these went now, folks. It goes like that. Um, so the, um, the world is your mollusk. You can um, work out how you want to make it. Um, as you go, you can work out a Halloween theme, um, anything, okay? Have you made a teddy bear that looked as if it was going to scare children rather than make them, um, happy? Which way are we going, can't we? Anybody anything else to say? Uh, that can witcher on about. Anne's making a wash dragon out of sugar paste. <gasps> oh, I need pictures of that. Um, I oh, there's something that uh, we could have done as uh, something you didn't know. Did you know I collected dragons? Um, I have a cabinet full of dragons. Um, I also have two on my back. Um, I do want more, but no. Um, Dave buys me a dragon almost every every Christmas. I have a different dragon, so it'll either be a piece of jewellery or something that hangs. Um, I had a door knocker last year, which I pat every time I go round and then open the curtains. Um, I haven't forgotten it, Dave. I do know he's there, but we've talked about getting a new porch. I might have him put on when we have a porch. Um, right, there. Oh. Which way are we now? Okay, so we're now down to our four lines. Okay, and we've kept them pretty much in order. Um, hopefully I haven't done any of my half square triangles the wrong way round. Alright, so we're going to, I'm going to iron that one that way. You know about nesting, do you? Um, nesting is when you um, take your seams and if they join you uh, try and iron one one way and one the other way so that when they come come together they um, they nest in you can feel them join in so we're going to iron that one that way I think there's only one seam that actually joins on this one so you can get away with if it if you don't do it like that which way am I going with that one that one's that way, that one's that way, so I want to go that way. 
Um, anybody else been doing anything? Lush? Sandra says we have a few nests under our solar panel. What kind oh, of... bat nests. Are they nests? Bat nests. Is that what you're on about, Sandra? Or just nest nests? Nest nests? <laughs> right. What you would do now is you would trim them up. Okay. So we're going to trim these. You want to make sure that your, when you've actually put them together, that they have a nice neat edge. Otherwise you get a bit of a kink. And sometimes it literally is that tiny, tiny bit that comes off. Okay. Um, yeah, she says pigeons. Pigeons. Pigeons aren't as interesting, are they? No. Pigeons, they're just rats with wings, aren't they? Isn't that what they call them? Pretty much. Yeah. I mean, I don't know why they get such a bad rap. When I was a teenager, there used to be a park in Birmingham that we used to go... Um, pubs used to shut... So long ago, pubs used to shut in the middle of the day. And um, there was a bloke there the one day, and he was catching pigeons to take home. He was catching them in a sack. I think he was taking them home to eat for pigeon pie. I did not have a go at him. I don't have a go to many people these days. I'm wittering on here now. Um, okay. Where are we? Right, this one is really... Um, I don't think you're going to get a straight edge, really. <laughs> it seems to have picked up a bias here. So I'm just going to trim it a little bit. Okay. So, any questions on what I'm doing? No? Mm -hmm. I've either lost them, they've all gone home <laughs> for a nap. Okay, right, got a little bit of a kink on there. Let's cut that one. Let's see, I don't want to take too much off. But you can see I'm, I'm sort of, my sewing is, um, this is why my blocks end up. I'm an enthusiastic amateur, me. I've got all the ideas. Right, so we're going that way, that way. See, they're starting to be about the right same size now. Like that and like that. So we're now just going to sew all four of those together. Okay. So, hang on. So I tend to... When I'm doing something like this, I will tend to pin up there, pin there, with being prepared to adjust. Okay, all right, and then you can have a look. Now, somewhere along the line, I've not nested that one right. So is that? Am I, I am going the right. Am I going the right way? Yes. Okay. So you can see here where I've not ironed it the right way for some reason. I don't know why I did that. Um, and it doesn't nest. So what we're going to do is we're going to iron this one because it's smaller. We're going to iron that over. Okay. Now a little bit of starch would probably ease it. So, when I put them together now, ow. can you see how that nests like that? And when you actually run your fingers along it, it's um, you can feel that it's it's hit the points, and that's how you get tidy points. Okay, 
is, is um, quite often down to your nesting. Ah, nesting. <laughs> I get there, Sandra. Eventually, I get there. Okay, so we're going to whiz along here. Uh, so did anybody try the pumpkin? Or did they all just shake their heads and, and go, Ooh. I mean, to be fair, they're very cute and I enjoyed making them, but I'm not quite sure what you would do with them. I suppose you could put them in the window for um, for the kids. Right, this one should be pretty straightforward. There's no nesting seams on this one. So I'm gonna... Are you in work today, Drew? Nope. Off nope. today. Off today. Have you got? How's your driving lessons going? Yeah, it's okay. Good. I don't remember. When, when do you reckon you'll be able to take your test? Probably December time. Nice. You're gonna... You can all have, you can, you all have cars out the front. Mm. You're gonna take over the... Um, the parking outside the shop. <laughs> you could all have... Um, Private number plates. I drew one. Okay. Alex one. Alex need to drive. Yes. That'll be the day. Alex would need to leave his room. Oh. Okay. Where are we? You'd say the other two don't even know how to drive yet either. No, Josh is learning though, isn't he? He was. He no. was. Then he stopped. And I think Rory is. Is he? I'm sure Rory was going to take her driving lessons. It'd be nuts not to, mind. Coming home from London. Right, one last scene and then we're done, girls. It's not like we can drive anywhere at the moment. No, well this is true. This is true, you can't drive out of Cardiff, can you? Hmm. Okay. Um, on the trampoline saga, James built the trampoline yesterday. Well, you weren't here for the trampoline saga, were you? Where was it yesterday? Did I say about the trampoline yet? No, it was um, Alex was here on Monday. Mm -hmm. um, I took delivery of a, um, a trampoline for Erin and Elsie for their birthdays. And when we opened it, we had two box twos. And it turned out that we had somebody else's box. But Argos can't, won't tell us, wouldn't get in touch with the woman to get in touch with us to find the other box. They wanted me to send it back. Um, and But they couldn't send me another one because they didn't have one in stock. So anyway, we put Facebook please out. And Meg put one on the... Uh, the selling sites and the woman saw it and got in touch with us so we had to exchange boxes so james built the trampoline it's massive it's mahoosive but the kids seem to like it so they're gonna have to get a, a ladder to get them up there well i might even have a go wear my tenor lady ladies of a certain age so there we have Batgirl we did Batman we now have Batgirl I know a friend of mine who would love this she'd be Batman if she could right there we go we have another one so you would um have to think 
I suppose you could... There we are. Is that the other way? It is the other way now, isn't it? Okay. Oh, didn't even need to turn it right round. So you could have, you know, them go in all sorts of ways. You could do a pumpkin. Um, or you, you could make a proper um, quilt, um, Halloween quilt, which could come out every year. So that's your bat. I will write up the pattern for anybody that's interested and I'll put it on um, the website for you to get hold of. Um, tomorrow is um, hot water bottle cover. So um, I'm going to go and think about that now. <laughs> I don't know how Sarah does it with four in a week. It's like boom, boom, boom. It's the ideas half the time. Ideas. So I'm off back to the shop. Um, I've got a quilt to quickly finish before um, we start another one. And my lunch to eat. I'm starving. So thank you for joining me. Are there any things there that I need to address before I disappear? No, it was just thanks. There's no questions or anything. Um, but yeah. That's because I explain it so eloquently isn't it um we didn't ha i didn't make a mess this time and i didn't forget anything so uh i i put that down as a win i'll see you tomorrow ta -ra.